terms of relationships between the masjids. Our masjid, Masjid al Taqwa, alhamdulillah, we've been in existence since 1981. We started with a handful of brothers and sisters. We used to have Juma prayer service on Hancock Street in one of the apartments of one of our brothers named Brother Salim Abdul Sabor and his wife. We used to um, meet at Juma prayer and used to go in his living room and push the furniture in his bedroom and have Juma prayer right there. That was in July. In fact, it would be our anniversary, according to the Gregorian calendar, around July 4th, 1981. I'll never forget that. The first day of Ramadan, we had decided that we we're going to be stronger in our worship of Allah and His Messenger. On that day, it was a day of independence for us, really. And we met Juma prayer the next week in Brother Salim's house. Allah blessed us over the years. We found a piece of property in Brooklyn, a drug-infested area. We went to auction, and we bought this building. We bid on it. I remember this handful of believers, about 25 of us, we sat in my apartment the night before the, the auction. This was the city, a building was owned by the city. And we had agreed that we wanted to buy this building for our masjid. And it had a minimum upset value of $30,000, meaning that you have to bid at least $30,000. We had admitted, we had said that that night that we would bid up to $90,000, that that would be our limit. We couldn't go beyond that. We got there to the place, to the auction. They were bidding on other property. Property was going from $500,000, $700,000, $800,000, million dollars. And subhanAllah, I huddled with the believers who were there and I said, listen, we better go up on what we said that we were gonna bid. And we said that we would go up to something like $150,000. So at least, you know, we have some hope that we can get this place. We wanted that place for a masjid. Every property that was bid, there was some tremendous bidding going on, especially there were a lot of Koreans there, and they were buying up property in Brooklyn. They came to this property where Masjid Taqwa is. And the auctioneer said, and, and Allah is my witness, and I sat there, and I was making dua, and, and, and it's going to sound like a fairy tale. He said, minimum upset $30,000. Do I hear $30,000? I said, upset $30,000. He said, $30,000 going once, going twice, sold $30,000. Wallahi Azim. Wallahi Akhi. Wallahi. Wallahi. $30,000. The only property there that you got for the upset value. And when it was over, an African American when it was over, an African American man came to me, looked me in the eye and said, you know what? I wanted that property. But when I found out that the Muslims were bidding on it, I didn't want to bid against the Muslims. So this place, drug infested, Muslims get it for $30,000, we begin to clean up the area, drive out the drug dealers, people begin to come offer $500,000, $600,000 for our property. They want to buy it. We decided that we're going to renovate it. Alhamdulillah, we hired an architect. We're going to tear down our masjid and build it up again. Four stories. Our architect started working on some designs, and he told us, by the time this structure's finished, when it's all over, you will be able to have Yom Jumu'ah. Are you ready for the numbers I'm about to give you? I challenge the people of Philadelphia. You'll be able to have 7,000 people. And we intend, inshallah, to have 7,000 worshipers for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Yom al -Jumah. We grew from 25 people to 700, 800 people, Jumah. It grew.